Amin, amin, amin. Oh, beloved Allah, please show your blessings upon our Master Muhammad and the noble family of Muhammad as many times as there are breaths in created beings. Oh, beloved Allah, please show your blessings upon our Master Muhammad and the noble family of Muhammad as many times as there are created beings. Oh, beloved Allah, please shower your blessings upon our Master Muhammad and the noble family of Muhammad as much as your knowledge extends, as long as your kingdom lasts. Amin, 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 alhamdulillahi rabbin alameen. Ooh, mashallah, mashallah, mashallah. We send our greetings and um, gratitude and ask for blessings upon beloved Ashki Aziz, Sheikh Musafir, who um, uh, placed the seed in our hearts and upon Sheikh Noor Al-Anwar Al-Malik Al-Jurahi, who helped this seed to grow in all of our hearts and upon Hazreti Pir Nuruddin Jarahi, who is the 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 tent keeper, the the tent pole of this entire lineage, and um, we send our blessings and love and greetings upon beloved Muhammad, peace be upon him, upon all the prophets, upon all the mothers, upon his wives, upon all his uh, his children, his family. Uh, and uh, upon this entire beautiful family of humanity, upon creation. Amin, amin, amin. And upon our beautiful dervish tarika, upon circle guides, Sheikh Amina, all the circle guides, and um, all the dervishes. Amin, amin, amin. Alhamdulillah. And upon those who surround us, those who are near to us, our families, our neighbors, our friends, Allah, please help us on the way. Help us op open the, the gates um, to the city of knowledge. Uh, may we pass through the door, the great uh, gate of uh, Imam Ali, radiallahu an, and may you ennoble and beautify his countenance eternally. Or, and may you ennoble and beautify the countenance of beloved Fatima, who is um, part of her father and... Uh, as he said, Fatima is part of me. And uh, may you make the way easy for us and fill us with your the beauty and the of your mystic knowledge and fill our our, our hearts with with your mystery and um, let us know that you are close to us, O Allah. You are nearer than near and nearer than that, O Allah. And may you Grant us the beautiful words to praise you with and the the prayers, the, the noble prayers to uh, address you with and um, the beautiful ways, the holy ways of, of, of living with which you are pleased, O oh Allah. Alhamdulillah. So um, today we we are here in back in, in New York and from a month long journey and with our family and um, in Austin. And I would like to say how fruitful that time was for, um, for, for I think for everyone and um, for also myself personally in um, being able to um, go into myself and, and, and gaze and see what is there and ask forgiveness for um, what I might feel is not pleasing to Allah and to um, to find the beloved there. So this is a practice that some call meditation or contemplation or sitting uh, sitting on the prayer carpet of Allah that is necessary for all of us. And it's necessary to heal ourself. O oh, healer, heal thyself. So all of us uh, are healers. 
every human being, you might say, is a healer in some way, given this capacity by Allah. But first we have to heal ourselves. And um, sometimes we don't take this seriously enough, the, the necessity to uh, purify completely. And, and so the healing is, you might say, that purification, because the purification uh, is what allows us that intimacy with Allah. And it can be simply by seeing. So it doesn't mean that we necessarily have to get rid of all our bad habits or change our life course dramatically. It's really um, the way of inner seeing and um, accepting our errors and um, asking forgiveness for our errors, but also recognizing that our errors are part of our humanness and that this is also what Allah has given us um, to bear as part of our life is the uh, the faultiness, what might appear as faulty, which is faulty in terms of the exaltedness of the divine qualities, but um, and which fails, which disappoints, which becomes ignorant, uh, which uh, turns away, which rejects, which rebels, which forgets, and which covers itself over. So, but once we see this, um, this is the forgiveness already, the, the seeing of this and the, the recognition of this as um, the loneliness, which is part of being human. And so being able to accept our, our, our you might say, our completely um, unknowable, uh, traits and um, and by seeing them and recognizing that they are also from Allah we can be healed that way because we have covered them over we have tried to hide them and go around them and then we develop a certain personality a certain ego and that ego is really what has to dissolve that armor, that whatever that is, that covering over our completely vulnerable, helpless, uh, lowly self, the self that um, has was not recognized when it came into the world that uh, might not have been greeted in, in, in the best of, of fashion and that can never, it's part of the human drama that Every child who comes into the world suffers uh, disappointment and suffers um, heartbreak. And um, that's that's the way of it. And so uh, we have to find the way to heal that, to find the original heartbreak, the original disappointment, the original, uh, you know, oh my God, whoa. What's going on here? Why am I here? Why did you know my Lord send me here? Uh, and then we completely forget that, and 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 then we become, we can become distorted, and we can become dense and um, covered over. So, the path, of course, is a healing. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, Hakam Basudka. If we uh, repeat this with utter sincerity and certitude uh, and insight, uh, it will heal us. It will heal us. But it will also take us to, you know, the parts of our life uh, that need the healing. And this, the, it will seem like other circumstances. It's not that we just say, la 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 la, and the next second, you know, we're, we're in a place of deep insight it can be of course um, but circumstances will then lead us to ways of healing encounters that help us to see more deeply into ourselves so Laila in Allah is the fastest path to Allah this is what is said so we should pay 
very close attention. And when we offer Laila Ilala every day, as we do, um, to not offer it um, as rote, is just um, on the tongue without, and with thinking about other things, and we're saying Laila Ilala, and we're thinking about a lot of other things. That's, that's not the way that it's going to uh, take root. That's not the way it's going to uh, deeply resonate uh, in our being. So maybe next week or the week after, we will address uh, la ila ila la and some of the the depth of 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 that uh, that form of praise. But today, I want to say that each of us should take a path, as it says, take a path to your Lord. And we know the path to our Lord is within. So uh, we need to keep healing. And uh, today, many, many uh, avenues are offered. Um, different kind of therapies, uh, even physical therapies, uh, treating the, the cellular memory of things, or um, Sheikh Amina works with the consolation therapy, which is a very amazing, helpful form of healing. Um, meditation and uh, even uh, sound things can bring us more deeply. Anything that brings us deep into ourself uh, with sincerity and where we can see and embrace and be that in, in that place of, of lowness. I mean, for me, that was very much of the healing in this time is to accept the, the lowness and and the vulnerability, the woundedness, of course, all of that, and um, and then one is almost spontaneously or naturally uh, lifted because it's it's like um, it too is a, a kind of um, you might say a, whether one call it an illusion or it's a, it's it's a form of of dress on our human soul on our, uh, and um, and from there we go into that deeper uh, level which is the um, the eye and the only eye so we, we have servant lord and as servant we are um, you know both the, the loving adoring desiring servant and then we are also the completely failing, failing one. And we we must recognize that on the path. So, um, and then if we keep sitting, and I don't mean just in one sitting, but if we keep our attention focused on this path, on this process and this way within, then uh, we can come to that place of uh, this open space this the the only I who is there. And that is this place of freedom that is the freedom to be with the the only I who is and who is uh, beyond all knowing and yet praised on all tongues, sought by all hearts and um, desired, and, and and loved, and yet uh, always beyond our grasp, always uh, beyond conception and um, any level of um, possession or knowing. So that one knows us. No vision can grasp him, but his grasp is over all vision. So we are the ones who are grasped. We are the, the servants, and then we are the channels. And then we are nothing but the, the who, the who, the who. So this was really to uh, encourage us to um, not stop on the path, because there's a place where we come to where we feel comfortable and um, and then we, um, having come from extreme discomfort 
which makes us work and strive. And then we come to a place of more ease. And then we we pause. And we can pause a, a while, a long time, until maybe something happens or... Um, or simply just the guidance guides us on and, and pulls us deeper. So always deeper. There is no ending of this path. There is no ending to um, to the divine generosity. So this is another, uh, I would say, cornerstone of, uh, of, of the heart is that Allah's bounty is boundless. And there will never be an end to Allah's uh, effusion of love and mercy and uh, embracing and mystery and knowledge, joy, beauty, creativity, all of that. So uh, we can rely on that. And so this is all part also of trusting Allah. Trusting Relaxing, leaning back, looking in, allowing ourselves to sink deeply, accepting, uh, taking responsibility. So we take responsibility. And we do not take offense. We do not take offense. So this is a sign. If we take offense at something, unless we are maybe beyond the, we've reached that point where we, we are completely the Sadiqs. If we take offense, it's a sign that we're not mature yet uh, because we, we, we feel wounded because it, it touches some deeper, older uh, place in us that has been wounded. And so, um, so we feel offended by things. So let's keep um, working together and um, praying together and healing together and going deeper together. So every day we have to feel that we're going deeper and that we've learned something about ourselves. And we do that um, through attention, through being aware. That's our divine name that we've been with for three weeks. Becoming aware and just sitting in awareness. So we're going to practice that uh, one more time in, together in this next session. Um, and alhamdulillah. And giving thanks, alhamdulillah, asking forgiveness, astaghfirullah, praising, alhamdulillah, glorifying, Allahu Akbar, alhamdulillah. So let's sit a moment. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. So when we begin to heal ourselves or ourselves begin to heal <coughs> through the love, then um, we can turn to, we can begin healing families. We can begin healing old wounds in families. Um, for this is a time now to uh, for the the bonds to um, to re reform. The, we, we've come into the the age of the, as we know, of the the breaking apart of you know tribal groups of um, larger groups of human beings. Uh, I would say the tribe is a is a good um, kind of measure, and we know the ummet, which is uh, and every of course sacred path has an ummet, and the bond to that ummet. And then, of course, the bond to all humanity, then the bond to creation. And then, um, but it comes from the the bond of, uh, of soul and Lord. And then um, <clears throat> with the healing of that bond, and then we can bond to, to family, to our parents. We can 
uh, to our siblings and to our children, to our and 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 thinking of descendants. So we uh, we begin again to weave this beautiful tapestry of um, of community of human beings. Uh, this is the time for it now. And um, of course, in our dervish family, that's amazing that we have a dervish family uh, where we we feel so supported and we feel so free and um, where we praise together. And this is Allah's love that flows into the dervish family and makes it uh, thrive that we can actually correspond to each other and love each other is, is such an amazing thing. And we don't often know even much of the background of the, you know, biographical background that might take more time to learn. But immediately as, as, as someone steps into this dervish um, bond, or this dervish uh, matrix, then um, we are part of each other. And so, um, you know, whatever furthers that. And, and that allows us to uh, have this, this uh, foundation for then going out into, you know, larger society and either connecting it directly to our dervish matrix or if not, at least bringing, you know, the light and, and, um, and strength that we receive uh, uh, to others and, and bonding to them uh, uh, in, in a way, definitely through the dervish links, you know, the dream that I had many, many, many years ago that our family, even if they don't take hand, our friends, even if they don't take hand or any uh, uh, relation, part of the tariqa, there is, it was called the junior tariqa. So it was a tariqa. So they were bonded also to the peers, to the saints through our heart. So that shows how significant each heart is. And, um, and so they received blessings in that way. And I'm sure some of you have observed how uh, family members or even friendships or um are, are bettered or their help will come to them. Their lives will get better uh, because the, the sap of the, of the peers, the sap of the prophet, peace be upon him and the Ethli Beit and, and the Umat is, is also flowing to them, uh, even though they might be really practicing completely differently or not at all. But they are also... Um, called by love and, and resonate with that. And that's how they're our friends. Um, so another thing I'd like to talk about, so we, we looked at more of the meditation, the inner looking, the sitting, the, the indwelling um, is a prayer. And, and prayer uh, is of course, another cornerstone of our of our way and uh, it's really natural to the human being we are given hands that pray a mouth that uh, enunciates words and um, a heart that desires so we're always in that state of desiring of needing needing so as soon as you come to need you come to prayer uh, when you um, so there's praise, which is the alhamdulillah, it's the la ilaha illallah, it's the declaration of prayer, it's the heart overflowing with love and uh, just the complete affirmation of, of truth and, uh, and, and beauty and the greatness of, of haq. And then there is the prayer, the supplication, and um, so we, every day also, we pray, you know, and, and, and we, we should be praying. And some people feel they don't want to pray or they don't want to ask. And that's okay too. Uh, 
you know, maybe they're praying without knowing they're praying. Their body is praying. Their body, their their lungs are asking for breath. Their stomachs are asking for food. Their uh, minds and eyes are asking for light. So, you know, we're really in prayer all the time because we are always in need. And so we're always completely dependent. And so maybe it's a good practice to listen to that prayer, the, the spontaneous prayer of ourself. And you will find that we're asking for everything all the time. And that if we think we're not asking, it's maybe because, you know, uh, something, we're, we're not realizing that. We're not realizing our total neediness uh, and, and total dependency. Every cell of our being is, in a sense, uh, praying for uh, its own uh, well-being and survival. So the the prayers that we enunciate, the, the, the great prayers, we, we um, actually follow the, the Rasulullah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the other prophets who were, you know, masters, sublime masters of prayer, and um, would pray for the good. They would, because they recognized they were channels. And so also when one prays, one becomes a channel of um, of goodness and um, help uh, for oneself and for for others. So the prophets were, of course, the great channels bringing blessings into creation. And they prayed also for future generations. They prayed for the well-being of humanity. And uh, even if they just prayed for the well-being of their ummet, their own ummet, but they it always in their own consciousness extended to all humanity. So uh, one of the beautiful ways of praying is to begin with praise. So you, you praise Allah. Oh Allah, you are the, there's no one but you. La ilaha illa ente, subhanake, all, all glorious are you. And then, uh, uh, you know, you are the generous. You are the uh, you are Rahman and Rahim. You are uh, the all bestowing, the the ever near, the all hearing, the one who responds to prayer. And then you can offer prayer. You know, and I am the needy one. Uh, that's a, a beautiful way of praying. And we've just um, read on the day of Arafat the prayer of Imam Hussein, which is a most magnificent prayer. And I would suggest that, uh, you know, every now and then we, we go back to it and read it or even just read parts of it. And I was going to actually uh, do that for us today. Let's see what time it is. Yeah, I have a little time. Um, just to awaken us again to his magnificence. And, you know, we're coming to Muharram very soon, the first of Muharram. It might be this next Sunday in a week or Monday. It's not completely sure yet. I'm not sure myself. And, um, and then 10 days later is the 10th of Muharram. And during that period of time from the first to 10th is this final journey of Imam Hussein and um, to the place of Karbala where they were martyred and his his final demonstration of the nobility and beauty of his soul and the divinity of his soul. Um, so I'll, I'll read just a, a few things from this great prayer of his. This is the beginning. Praise belongs to Allah, so that would be Alhamdulillah, whose decree none may avert and whose gift none may prevent. No fashioner's fashioning is like his fashioning. And he is the generous, the all-embracing. He brought forth the varieties of unprecedented creatures and perfected through his wisdom all he had fashioned. Hidden not from him are the intentions, nor lost with him are the stores of good deeds. He rewards every doer of good and grants comfort to all who are content 
and has mercy upon all who humble themselves. He sends down blessings and the all-encompassing book in radiant light. He hears supplications, averts afflictions, raises up in degrees, and knocks down tyrants. For there is no God other than who, nothing is equal to who. Like who, there is nothing, and who is the hearing and the seeing, the subtle, the aware, and who is powerful over all things. O oh Allah, I make you my quest, and I bear witness to your lordship, acknowledging that you are my lord, and to you is my return. You originated me by your blessing before I appeared. You created me from dust, then gave me a place in the loins of my fathers, secure from the uncertainty of faith and the vagaries of the ages and the years. I remained a traveler from loin to womb, from time immemorial through past days and centuries. In your tenderness, bounty, and goodness toward me, you did not send me out into the empire of the leaders of denial, those who break your covenant and cry lies to your messengers. Rather, you sent me out to the guidance which was ordained for me, the way which you made easy for me, in which you nurtured me, and all the while you were kind to me through your grace and your abundant blessings. Alhamdulillah. Those are the first two paragraphs of this immense prayer. And then I'd like to end <coughs> with um, something that was around the middle of the prayer, which is also magnificent. There is no God but you. Glory to you. And truly, I am one, I am of those who err. There is no God but you. Glory to you. Truly, I am of those who pray for forgiveness. There is no God but you, glory to you. And truly, I am one of those who profess your unity. There is no God but you, glory to you. Truly, I am one of the God-fearing. There is no God but you, glory to you. And truly, I am one of those who are in awe of you. There is no God but you, glory to you. Truly, I am one of the hopeful. There is no God but you, glory to you. Truly, I am of those who yearn. There is no God but you, glory to you. Truly, I am of those who say, la la illa enta. There is no God but you. There is no God but you, glory to you, Subhanaka. Truly, I am one of the supplicants. There is no God but you, glory to you, Subhanaka. Truly, I am one of the glorifiers. There is no God but you, glory to you. Truly, I am one of those who magnify you. There is no God but you, glory to you, my Lord, and the Lord of my ancestors, the ancients. Amin, amin, amin. Visuri janabi azreti pir fatiya. Allahimma sayyana sayyana Muhammad. Walani sayyana Muhammad. Wasabi wasabim. Bismillahir Rahman Irahim. Alhamdulillah irabin animin. Rahman Irahim. Maniki omidin. Iyak and Abudu wayak and Astain. Ik dina sorata mustakim. Sorata nidina anamta anahim. Karam magdubi anahim. Wala don din. Amin, amin, amin. So complacency, beware of complacency, complacency, uh, like an enemy in disguise. It, 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 um, it stops us on the path. So I wanted to mention one more uh, beautiful form of praying is that in, in, in the weird, in the morning weird, we see it's about halfway through the peer goes from you know Quranic verses and and Quranic praises to the parts of of supplication, and he always precedes supplication with salawat. So there's always salawat, and then he will he has a a, a certain a group of of 
uh, supplications, and then another salawat, and then another group of supplications, and then he ends with a, uh, like, in a sense, it, it's a beautiful salawat, two long salawats. So um, the this a clear indication that by praising the prophet, this is also opens the door of uh, of of mercy. So praising Allah, asking for prayers upon Rasulullah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, um, <clears throat> opens the way for um, the, our supplication. It's it's like the fruitful ground, plant the seeds of our prayers. If we have fertile soil. This this is the fertile soil. So, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Uh, ya Allah. Ooh. Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuhu. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Allahumma sayyina sayyina Muhammad wa ala ni sayyina Muhammad wa sabi wa salam. Wala please. Grant us the, the gift of tasting fully uh, the humanity you have uh, you have created us in, and the and the the exaltedness that uh, comes from you, O oh Allah. For all truly comes from you. All is from you. May we recognize all as uh, as aspects as divine qualities uh, from you, our, our beloved, our Lord, you have created us in order to also taste this, this loneliness, this, um, this servanthood, this uh, complete dependence and um, neediness and helplessness and all, all that we normally desire to run away from, O oh Allah, may, may we uh, you allow us to recognize that it is also part of you and that it is there for as a, a bezel as there as a setting for for the, for our soul for the the magnificence of the heart where you alone reside o Allah and that over all things you are the powerful you are the the, the one who is victorious and 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 you have knowledge of all things. All things are created through your knowledge, o Allah, and all things are created to to praise you, ultimately to praise you, o Allah. Grant us new levels of praise, new levels of vision and uh new depths of, of reaching and new uh new levels of attaining, new degrees of, of nearness to you. Please, please, O oh beloved, do not let us stop on our path. Do not let us be content uh, with, with what is uh, not complete, not fulfilled, O oh Allah. May, may, may we always be seeking you and desiring you and also uh, envisioning you and, and seeing you, witnessing you and praising you. Amin, 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 oh beloved, uh, we belong to you. Amin to the secret heart of our peer, secret heart of Effendi, the secret heart of Noor Effendi, secret heart of uh, Nuruddin Effendi, uh, Amina Taslima Effendi, his mother and all the, the lineage and all the saints we love and who guide and protect and further us through the hearts of the Ahli Bayt, that the glorious, the stars in the sky and secret heart of our beloved Muhammad Mustafa, وسلم, beloved Isa, beloved Maryam, beloved Fatima, beloved Musa, Afatiya. Allahumma sayyana sayyidna Muhammad wa ala ni sayyidna Muhammad wa sabi wa sallam Bismillahi rahman irahim Alhamdulillahi rabbin alimin Rahman irahim Maliki yawmidin Iyaka nabudu wa iyaka nasta'in Ihdina surat al-mustakim 
صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين امين 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 so we have taken the amana we have taken the amana from you amen may we fulfill it be true to the covenant amen who 